Good morning, everybody, again. Uh, good morning to everyone who's tuned in on YouTube in our, on our live stream from around the country. Uh, a very appropriate day today, Freedom Day, right? I was listening to the radio on the way in, and Eusebius MacKaiser, not my favorite character, but he was asking the question, what does freedom really mean to South Africans? And I think we touch on that a lot in the presentation. So, let's begin. Uh, we're going to be spending... The next 50 minutes or so, uh, going through the presentation, my name's Rob, I'm one of the executives, and then afterwards you guys are free to come speak to me, ask me any questions that you might have. Okay. So, who is Dewpoint? We're actually a division of another company called Constantia Insurance Company Limited. Uh, Constantia was founded in 1952. Uh, they were a registered insurance business, a registered insurance company in South Africa. There's only about a dozen of those in the country. Um, so they're very reputable, very well-founded business. That's their offices in the background. They're based down the road from us in Randburg. That's their little orange logo over there. You might recognize them, you might not. They typically don't uh, address consumers directly. Um, they've always gone through other businesses, so other FSPs and underwritten uh, other products for other, uh, what we think are insurance companies. So that's what Constantia does. They're actually owned by another business called Conduit Capital, which is listed on the Joburg Stock Exchange. Uh, the FSP number that we operate under is that one that you see at the bottom there. And in our foyer above the water cooler, you'll notice we've got all our FSP licenses on display. We've got our FSP license. We've got a long and short-term insurance license. We've got an investment license. And then we've got our accreditation with the Direct Selling Association and the Direct Marketing Association. Lots of certificates on the wall uh, because we take credibility very seriously, right? We don't do any advertising. You've probably never heard of Dewpoint. Um, so it's, it's a fundamental step for us to make sure that you find some credibility in this business that we're going to be speaking about today, right? It's very important for you to have this, this trust, at least this initial trust, uh, going forward. Okay, so the individuals involved here at Dewpoint, this is actually the executive and the senior management team. Uh, the three people on the far left are all registered chartered accountants. And uh, our senior executive is Brendan. And Brendan's got a lot of experience in financial services, particularly in insurance, because their whole family has been involved in insurance his entire life. His father's a professor of insurance, uh, Dr. Brian Benfield, who founded uh, Clientel Life and the IFA along with it. And then Brendan and his brother Stuart uh, followed in their father's footsteps and founded Prime Meridian Direct, which is PMD, right? We all see PMDs advertising all over the place on TV. They do millions of rands of advertising uh, every month. And uh, Brendan and his brother Stuart, along with their father, founded that business. So they've got a lot of experience in financial services. Um, and more importantly, they've, got a, they've had a lot of success in financial services. And then Tim Reynolds, uh, he was working at the First Rand Group, directly beneath the CEO there, where he reported to the Board of Executives. So he had a fairly high-profile, cushy corporate job uh, there. And we were lucky to get him on board, and he heads up all our regulatory and our financial and accounting aspects here in the business. And then Stacy uh, supports him in that role, and she's got a lot of experience in auditing uh, with Deloitte. She's worked locally as well as overseas. And then the two non-accountants over here, Jane and myself, uh, Jane is really the face of Dewpoint because she actually sits in reception and she knows everything about this business, who's involved, who's doing what, who's being good, who's being naughty. Um, and she comes from Yorkshire in the UK. So if you speak to her, you'll notice she's got this Yorkshire accent. And then myself, I come from a marketing and advertising background. I worked in marketing and advertising most of my working career. I started a digital agency in the late 90s and ran that for about 20 years fairly successfully. We also operated primarily in the financial services uh, sector, and I worked on most of the, um, with most of the banks, like Investec, FNB, Standard Bank, APSA Bank, and those type of companies. So this is the, the management team. Our mandate here at Dewpoint is to support our wealth engineers, so the people that join this business. That's what we focus on every single day. How are we going to support our wealth engineers in being as effective as possible, right? Because in this partnership, we want to collaborate with our wealth engineers. Because as a business, we can only be successful if our wealth engineers are successful. And so everything that we do is to support you guys in that effort. Okay. So also, a very, very important fundamental step at the in the beginning of looking at any partnership, one is always based on trust. 
You need to trust the business that you're going to be working with. And you need to trust the individuals that you're going to be working with, right? And so this is why we lead up front the presentation uh, with those two slides. All right. So why are we here? Like I said earlier, Freedom Day, a very appropriate day to be discussing a business opportunity, an opportunity that talks to financial freedom. Uh, the DJ on 702, I don't know if you can call them DJs because they don't play any music on there. They just talk and talk and talk. The talk show host, Eusebius, he asked the question, what does financial freedom mean to you? What does it mean to you? Does it mean that you have political freedom, that you get to vote? Is that real freedom? Or is freedom more economic freedom? Because even though you, have, you might have choice to vote, political freedom, if you are poor, if you don't have economic freedom, then are you truly free? Because freedom, liberation, is really about having choice. And if you're not economically free, then you're actually bound. You don't have choice because you'll be living month to month. You'll be trying to survive, not really flourishing. So it's a very appropriate day to be discussing what we're going to be discussing today. So what is the premise for you being here? How many guests do we have in the room? Just show me your hands. First time guests. It's the only question. Welcome. Welcome. We love to see more guests than wealth engineers. Because uh, it means the wealth engineers are doing their work, right? Um, so what is the premise? The premise is obviously the financial opportunity. I would assume the person that invited you here alluded to some form of financial opportunity. Right? Come look at this business financial opportunity and you thought, Ah, oh, it's on a public holiday. I was going to sleep in late. I was going to maybe watch sport on TV or I was going to go shopping. But you're here. You're here listening to the strange person on the stage telling you what's happening, what this business is all about. And it's a business that you've never heard of. I, I would assume you've never heard of Dewpoint because we don't actually do any marketing or advertising. But the premise is typically two things. And we talk about these two things. One is the economy. So the economy affects us directly. Unfortunately, we've got no control over the economy. The other thing is debt, that four-letter word over there. Appropriately a four-letter word. And the economy, like I said, is something that we have zero control over. There's nothing we can really do about the economy. We're hoping as a business that we'll have impact on the economy through this business. But individually, you and I individually, really have no control over what the economy does. And the economy is in a dismal state at the moment. Absolute dismal state. There's no growth in the economy. 50% of our workforce is unemployed. We've got nearly a million kids coming out of school every year into the workplace. And when there's no growth in the economy, do you think those kids are all going to find jobs? We are just <coughs> compounding the issue that we have at the moment. And 2017 is not looking any better than 2016, unfortunately. You know, one of the most performing financial markets in the country is equities. And equities, which is companies, the performance of companies listed on the uh, public stock exchange, the performance of those equities over the last five years has been an average of 11%. Right? And you might think, oh, well, that's not bad. That's, you know, 4 or 5% higher than inflation. In America... Equities are performing three times more than what South Africans' equities are. And we're supposed to be a developing country where equities have got superb growth, right? And this plays out in our lives because when companies are just trying to survive, they're not thriving, they're not flourishing, they're not creating jobs. In survival, it often leads to more unemployment, right? Because you don't have people spending with them. They can't produce as much. They can't... Uh, contribute much to the GDP as much as they would like to or used to and so it plays out in the form of unemployment like retrenchment so I'm married to a labor lawyer wonderful job to have in a country like this where labor is so heavily regulated and I see her dealing with all the retrenchments that their company deals with they're the biggest private employee in the country they employ 160,000 staff and she oversees all the retrenchments and the retrenchments really affect everybody it affects everybody because they're a mining company and they've got people obviously at the bottom of the ladder, of the corporate ladder, if you want to call it that. Perhaps the rock drillers, I'm not sure, who earns the least in a mine. And you've got all the people up to executive level, the CEOs. Everyone gets retrenched. From senior management all the way down. So she's had to retrench people that she works with at head office. 
lawyers, other lawyers, she's retrenched them, doctors, geologists, accountants, like those three people we saw in the, on the previous slide, right? You think, ah, oh, chartered accountant, that's very fancy. Surely they must be safe from retrenchment, right? They did well at school. They went to varsity, got one or two degrees, professional degrees, joined big company. They got retrenched last year. My point is no one is safe from retrenchment. If you're under the illusion that because of who you are or the work you do or the position you have, you're safe from retrenchment, they'll come that day, right? My point is no one is safe from retrenchment. The one aspect that exacerbates our financial position is debt. Because South Africans have a lot of debt. A lot of debt. The FSB tells us through the statistics that we get from them all the time, that the average South African spends half their salary on debt every month. So you get your salary in, 50% goes to debt repayment before you even, then you're left with half. And for the, that leftovers, now you go and spend on cost of living, right? And you're afforded debt at an early age. Typically, when you start earning a salary, you get afforded debt. The bank goes, oh, you're a wonderful client. I could depend on you to pay your debit orders because I see you're getting a salary. And they'll offer you a whole bunch of financial products. Those take on the form of debt instruments and savings. Unfortunately, South Africans don't engage much in savings or investments. We go for the debt, right? Credit cards, personal loans, educational loans, clothing accounts. I don't know. Can you get an account with Woolworths? Can you buy avocados on higher purchase? No? Right? So we engage in all these debt instruments. Car loans. Got about 10 million cars on the road in South Africa. Only about 35% are insured. Right? I know a friend. I had a friend at an early age. He went and bought, I think it was a new Alpha. This was probably 20 years ago. Bought a new Alpha. He thought it was insured. He had done something wrong with his debit order. Something happened. And he actually wasn't paying for the insurance. And he wasn't checking his account every month. And they hijacked his car in the driveway the one day while he was washing his car. Brand new car. Three months old. They stole the car. Insurance said, you haven't been paying us. You didn't have insurance. For five years, he had to pay off a car that he didn't have. Right? Do you know how many people buy new cars and cancel the insurance the next month? You will be shocked to know. Shocked to know. Bad business to be in. Anyway, home loans. Be great to own your own house, right? People say don't rent a house, rather buy it. It's a great investment. And that's questionable too. So we engage in all these various debt instruments as South Africans. And then investment, savings, something that South Africans on average don't engage with. The statistics that we get say that the average South African only starts investing properly in their 50s towards their retirement, right? In their 50s. So this is some data that Tim sent me in September last year that was published on the FIN24 website that kind of shows you what responsible financial retirement planning looks like. So the three figures at the top there, those are options that you have. To retire with. So if you want to get to retirement and you want your investment to pay you out a certain amount of money, so for example there it's 5,000 Rand every month, you need to have saved a million Rand in investment. You have to have a million Rand in cash invested. That million Rand over the next 30 years will pay you out 5,000 Rand a month. At the same time, it'll eat into that capital amount so that if you retire at 60, by the time you're 90, your money's run out. Right? So you have to die at 90. Can't afford to live past 90. Right? That's, that's just the fact of retirement planning. It'll be great if you could go over, right? If you knew, well, I'm going to have leftover money and give some to your kids. But this is what retirement planning looks like. 26,000 Rand a month, right? Because the first one's lacking a bit of dignity. I don't know who can live on 5,000 Rand a month. 26,000 Rand a month. That would be much better. But you have to have saved 5 million Rand by the time you retire. And you can do that. So if you in the vicinity of 25 years of age, you can start doing that because this allows you 40 years. But you need to save 4,000 Rand a month for the next 40 years. And that 4,000 Rand a month has to increase by 7% every year. If you can do that, 
you'll be in the position where you, you'll have a 5 million rand investment, which will pay you out 26,000 rand a month from the age of 60 to the age of 90. Or if you're retired, 65, pay you out till you're 95. Do you think anyone's doing this? No. Only 2% of South Africans retire financially independent. 2%. So we've got about 70 people in the room. One of us, maybe, someone else's leg will retire financially independent. And that's it. Don't think you're special. Statistics don't lie. They don't lie. That's unfortunately the environment that we all find ourselves in. Average South Africans spending 50% of their salaries repaying debt. The average South African only saving towards their investments properly when they get to the age of 50. And only 2% of South Africans getting to retirement financially independent. The rest of us, we live month to month, year to year. We don't think about retirement. We're just trying to get by. We're like the companies in the current environment, trying to survive. So we're all trying to survive, month to month. Of all the people in South Africa that are got debt, which is pretty much everyone who's earning anything, right? We've all got some form of debt, whether it's a higher purchase at a furniture store, or a clothing account, or a credit card, or a home loan. Pretty much everybody has got debt in this country. 50% of those people are under debt review. Half the population is under debt review, which means that for three months, they haven't been able to keep up with maintaining that debt, which means they're not getting by. They're not getting by. You're running out of money, and you're trying to take from money from there, and from there, and from there, just to survive. Right? Not a great picture, especially on a day like this, Freedom Day. So out of all these issues, we saw an opportunity as a business. We saw the opportunity to empower South Africans, to create a platform that allows South Africans to take advantage of to create an additional income stream for themselves. Like I said, we have better things to be doing than sitting here on a public holiday in the morning. Right? Much better. You could be with your family, enjoying yourself, going out for breakfast, authorizing another credit card, at the bank. But our situation, our financial situation, forces us to be here to listen to what I have to say this morning. And so we saw that need. The Dewpoint system was born, so we launched this system last year in February. We have three aspirations. The three aspirations are one, we want to see our wealth engineers become debt free. Debt is crippling in our lives. It is crippling. Unless you start sorting out your debt first, you will live month to month, year to year for the rest of your life. You won't get out of it. You'll be closer to getting out of it when you're in your 50s. Because then you might have finally paid off the debt, finally paid the 20-year bond off, finally got the kids out the house. Hopefully the kids have got jobs and are supporting themselves. And maybe for the first time in your 50s, now you've got some money to actually invest and save in a panic towards your retirement, which is five, ten years away. So we want to see this happen for our wealth engineers. We want to see you become debt-free as quickly as possible. Our second aspiration is to see you start investing in something that is value, a true investment, right? Our tagline on all our products, you'll see the tagline on all our products, says reward yourself first. Because when you're living month to month, who gets paid first? when that salary comes in? Taxman? That disappears before you even get the salary, right? And then all the debit orders go off. All those loans you have, right? The cost of living, everything, all of that stuff gets paid before you invest anything, right? We see it. We're in the financial services sector. If the country starts suffering from an economic point of view, we see the insurance policies get cancelled and the investments get cancelled. That's a sign that South Africans are now in survival mode. So our tagline, reward yourself first, says no. It doesn't matter what happens. You pay yourself first. Invest in your future before you pay everybody else. Right? That's what we want to see you have the option of doing. 
So that's our second aspiration. Our third aspiration is to see everyone smiling some more. Because if you're debt-free, picture what debt-free actually looks like. Debt-free means that your house is paid off, your car is paid off. You pay your kids education a year up front. You've got no credit cards, no debit orders. Everything is paid cash up front. The salary that comes in, you've got to decide how to spend it. Right? That's what debt-free actually means. And if you're debt-free and you're creating value and in investment that grows every month, something you can look forward to in 20 years' time, we will all be smiling a little more. Be happier wealth engineers. And that's ultimately what you have to do, right? Is to get rid of that stress of financial burden. How do we do it? You get to join the system by actually contracting with us. So our guests have the opportunity to contract with Dewpoint. When you contract with us, we call you wealth engineers. And as wealth engineers, we only want you to do one thing, and that is to go out and build what we call channels of distribution. And I'll show you what one of those look like. Into these channels of distribution, through our online platform, we'll attempt to place product with the people that you introduce to us. That's basically how this whole system works. As simple as that. Okay? The benefit to the wealth engineer is that you get to create an additional income stream for yourself, right? This is the only way you're going to pay your debt off any faster than you're currently doing. The nature of our business allows you to create recurring income. Now, this is such a beautiful benefit that a lot of us don't even know or are aware of, that you have this opportunity to create recurring income. What is recurring income? Recurring income means that the value the time that you invest into building something, an asset, doesn't pay you only at the end of the month. If you work in trade or you're any skills-based type of employee, employee, you have to work a certain amount of time to be able to invoice for that time. And you'll be paid for your time. So if you're an electrician, a plumber, a hairdresser, a lawyer, even an accountant, you get paid for the time that you spend working, and that's how much money you make at the end of the month. You create no recurring income. If you want to earn next month, you've got to go do the work to earn next month, right? But now you're limited because you only have eight working hours in a day. So if you want to earn more next month, you've got to work more, right? So if you're billing 40 hours a week in this month, you want to earn more next month, you've got to work 41, 42, 50 hours a week to earn more. In this business, it's not like that. This creates recurring income. So you put in a certain amount of hours in the first month. We don't pay you only at the end of that month. We'll keep paying you for that effort into month two, month three, month four, month five. You can be in a position in this business where you can take a three-month holiday and you'll still earn every single month while you're on holiday. I didn't have that in my business. That business I ran for 20 years, it took me that long to realize that this business was going to kill me. Right? Because that's all we did. We build time in my business. Like a law firm. They just build time. So you have to just keep billing time. Someone wants to go on holiday, you lose all that income that month that that person's on holiday. In December, everyone wants to go on holiday. So guess what our billing looked like in December? Like nothing. We spent the whole year saving up enough money in the business so that we could survive December and January. And that was the yearly cycle that we were in. In this business, you get to create recurring income. You're actually building this residual value in this asset that you have that pays you in a recurring fashion, right? You get to harness the power of duplication. Again, this is all about leverage because we're going to be speaking about you sacrificing your free time to make this business work. This is free time. This is your family time, your time on public holidays, the time on weekends, that's what you have to sacrifice to be successful in what we're going to be talking about today. So we leverage everything for you. We allow you to create recurring income and we allow you the power of duplication. So when you go out and you build these channels of duplication, what you're really doing is you're building a team that collaborates with you, right? And when you're collaborating together, you're getting more time invested in this asset that you own that pays you out a recurring income. So if you only got one hour to afford this business a day, but you've got 10 people that you've brought into the business that are helping you, each putting in one hour, now suddenly you've got 11 hours being invested 
into your flexi time business every single day. Okay, it's all about leverage. You're completely independent of us. In other words, you're accountable for your own time. You get to decide how much time you want to spend in this business. No one else is going to dictate to you how much time to spend in this business. Sometimes a good thing, sometimes a bad thing. Right? Because at work, if you come to work late every day of the week, what's going to happen? Yeah, you're going to get punished. But unfortunately, with labor regulations today, you're going to get a written warning, another written warning, another written warning, disciplinary hearing, fired. Right? And this business is not going to happen. You need to make the decision for yourself. You need to be accountable for your own time. Because no one is going to tell you to spend more time in this business. You have to decide it on your own. And that's what we're going to decide. At the end of this presentation, the people that are interested in this opportunity, that's the choice I want you to make. In your head, I want you to have gone, okay, I'm going to spend Sundays in this business. Or I'm going to spend every day after work in this business. That's the decision. Because that is going to mean the difference between success and failure in this business. There's no startup capital. There's no registration fees or startup fees. We don't have boxes of product that we want you to buy to get started, right? So if you brought your uncle's bucky here in anticipation of taking home lots of stock, I'm sorry. You're going to go home empty-handed today. It's a very low-risk endeavor, okay? No qualifications or experience required. That's notable because we work in financial services. And if anyone here works in financial services, you'll know that there is a lot of regulation. It's a very onerous industry to be in, right? A lot of people have run away from financial services because there are just too many rules and regulation to abide by today. So you get to enjoy the benefit of financial services. Build an asset. This is a very important point because if I'm going to propose to you that I want your free time, your time with your kids, with your spouse, family, time watching sport on the weekend, time to just relax after work. If I'm going to propose to you, that's the time I want for this business. At least have ownership over what you're building. So you have legal ownership over this channel of distribution that you're building. Right? What does that mean? It means that you can sell it one day. It means that you can give it to your kids when you get very old. You can cede it to your beneficiaries if something happens to you before then, right? It flies in the face of normal employment because we will spend our lives, we will commit our lives to working for an employer where we've got no ownership, no shareholding, no profit share, <coughs> no say in the business. But yet we'll spend our entire lives working for somebody else. Here at least the time that you're investing, your spare time that you're investing, you have ownership over this thing that you're going to be building. No selling involved. Everyone should be whooping and saying thank you. There's no selling. How many of our guests thought, oh, what are they going to ask me to sell? You came in looking for the vitamins. Where are they hiding the shakes? Right? There's no selling involved here whatsoever. The nature of our business is financial. Our products are financial products. It means they're intangible products. It means they're not going to need to sit on your uncle's bucky when you leave today. You don't need to find space for them when you get home. They don't expire at the end of the month. And we don't run out of them either. We've got as many as you want. Right? So we make this business as convenient and as simple as possible to get involved in as possible. And this is all predicated on you going out and building these channels of distribution. Okay, so you might be thinking, well, I don't know what he's talking about, a channel of distribution. The channel of distribution begins with you. So that's you. You become a wealth engineer. And the only thing we expect of you is to go out and tell people about what Viewpoint's all about. That's it. You're referring us. A good referral, right? Like when you go to a movie and you say, saw an awesome movie on the weekend. That's referral. It's one of the most powerful forms of marketing that currently exists. And there are industries all over the world that are now trying to harness referral marketing, right? And this is really what we're doing. This is what we want from you. You go out and you tell people about the Dewpoint opportunity. They will end up listening to a presentation like this and be in that position where they decide whether they want to get involved or not. And I can tell you, if 98% of the population is retiring financially dependent, there's enough target market out there for all of us. 
right, for people to be interested in changing their financial situation. And you can see how this channel of distribution grows organically, right? How much effort did it take to introduce five people into the business? This is the power of duplication. This is you leveraging your time. Now you're going to be collaborating with those five people. And they'll go out and speak to other people and so on and so forth. And so you have this growth that takes place. This is what your channel can look like. Every single dot on the screen is someone that's taken out a product with Dewpoint, which in turn means that you're getting paid more and more at the end of every month. Because if this keeps growing, your recurring income keeps growing every single month. Because next month, a few more dots will appear, right? So this is what we want you to do. This is what a channel of distribution looks like. So you'll be forgiven if you arrived here today thinking, oh, what's my friend invited me to, young yeah, man? <coughs> Pyramid scheme. Get rich quick scheme. Right? How many of those are floating around South Africa? Many. Many. I've heard the stories. So oh, I joined this one. And uh, they took my money. I haven't seen my money. I said, well, you want to give your money to someone who's been in prison in Russia for 10 years, who sits on the internet in his white vest. That's the man you trust to give your money to. What do you expect? I'll remind you of the business that you're addressing here. We're nearly 70 years old. We're run by, don't tell them, but I think we're run by fuddy-duddy accountants. Right? We know how straight-laced most accountants are but a very reputable business with very reputable individuals involved. We listed on the Joburg Stock Exchange. You go look at all the licensing on that wall. That licensing doesn't just get handed out. It takes decades of experience to be able to navigate through the regulation that you require in financial services. And so we would never even align ourselves to anything that closely remotes, that looks like a, uh, a get-rich-quick scheme. And at the same time, I'll never promise you that you can find success in this business easily. Because that doesn't exist. If anyone tells you, oh no, this is easy, you make money quickly. You just put 10000 in my account next month, I'll make sure you get 15000 It does not exist. In any sphere of life. You want to be successful at work, at losing weight, at stopping smoking, at having a better relationship with your spouse... It all requires hard work. It never comes easily. And you should know that. We've all experienced life. But I guess you're excused when you get desperate enough that you're willing to look at some of these things. So this is my disclaimer slide. Because that's what I expect of our wealth engineers. If you're truly committed to this process and the system, I'm telling you now, it requires a lot of time and a lot of hard work and long-term commitment. We unfortunately live in a society where everything has become short-term expectation, quick fixes, short-term expectation, immediate gratification, right? It's exacerbated by the internet and all these digital technologies coming out. But unfortunately, business doesn't work like that. Business requires years of commitment before you start to see success. So you need to decide what financial freedom means for you. Does it mean that you become debt-free? Does it mean that you're in a position where you can pay off all 17 credit cards that you've run up? Does it mean that you build enough investment into retirement that makes you feel safe? Does it mean that you're able to afford to send your kids to a good school? What does it mean for you? Because that's what you need to keep reminding yourself every morning when you realize after work I have to go to Dewpoint. point. Because it's going to be a slog. So make sure your why is big enough. How do we pay our wealth engineers? We pay them a return at the end of every month, right? Based on how many products you've got in your channel. We pay you a base return fee of 27 Rand 50 for every product that we are able to place in your channel. So remember the first five individuals that you brought into the business successfully? Those people lie on your first point, okay? They are on point one, one point away from you. Know them personally. On point one, we pay you double the 27 Rand 50. So we actually pay you 55 Rand for every product every single month. Remember, it's recurring income. So you're earning that every single month going forward. Those people go out and they bring individuals into your channel. Those individuals lie on your second point. On your second point, again, it's double. We pay you 55 Rand again for every person on the second point going forward. Point three, 27 Rand 50. You see the multiplier drops to 100% again to point four, keeps dropping all the way to point eight. At point eight, 
the multiplier is 4%. So we're paying you 1 Rand 10, but we don't stop at 0 0.8. 0 0.8 onwards, downwards, into infinity, we will pay you that 4% of the 27 Rand 50. So we don't limit you on the size of your channel at dew point. And we don't limit you on how much you can earn through the dew point system, right? Again, long-term commitment will pay off in this business if you're consistent at it. But if you give up after two months, you won't even know where you could have been in five years or ten years or twenty years' time. So this is the mechanics of the returns. It's fairly straightforward to understand. The next natural question is, well, how much money can I earn in this business after three months? If I come and I spend three months here or six months or a year or you talk about long-term commitment, I spend five years here, how much can I expect to earn? Well, we built this path to success. It is dependent on a growth formula. The growth formula expects the wealth engineer to go out and put three people successfully into their channel in the first month. So in month one, we'll call it May, right? Because we're a few days away from May. So let's say you become a wealth engineer in May. You put three people in May. June, you only have to put in two. July, two. August, two. So we call it the three plus two growth model. Because you're going to be putting in three and then two, 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 plus two, plus two, plus two, plus two. One every two weeks. That's all you have to do. After six months, you're going to be earning two and a half thousand rand a month. You have to look past the light. There's nothing that's tax free. <laughs> what are you talking about? Right? Two and a half thousand rand after six months of work. Is it a lot? Too little? Let me talk about debt again. Because everything comes back to debt. It all comes back to debt. You are either on the good side of an interest rate or you're on the bad side of an interest rate. If you have debt, any form of debt, you're on the bad side of the interest rate. Right? So here's an example of someone who's got a million rand bond. They found a nice house for a million rand. They went to the bank. They said, well, obviously I don't have the million rand. Can I get some money from the bank? And the bank did a background check on you, credit check, checked how much money you're earning every month. And if they approved you, they would have given these people a million rand. And you would have signed a contract that says, I'm happy to pay back the bank for the next 20 years at the given interest rate. And that probably turns out to be 11, 11 and a half thousand rand a month on a million rand property. Okay? So if you're in your 30s, when are you going to pay this house off? When you're in your 50s. How much would you have paid the bank back? This 2,500 rand. When you get to this position at due point, you're going to put the money into the debt. You're not going to go spend it on shoes, handbags, nice lunches, toys for the kids. You're going to put it into your debt. You're going to reward yourself first. Because if you put that 2,500 rand into that bond payment, you're going to reduce the bond payments from 20 years down to 11 and a half years. That little 2,500 rand is going to nearly halve your bond term. So instead of waiting 20 years to pay your house off, you only have to wait 11 and a half years, and that house is yours. You pay your house off when you're in your 40s, not in your 50s. It saves you in repayments. That 2,500 rand saves you a million rand in repayments. Doesn't that boggle your mind? Your house costs you a million rand. You're paying back the bank. You decide to put an extra 2,500 rand in, and you save a million rand on the million rand house. How much is the bank making from you? Right? Pay your debt off as quickly as possible. Do not be the person that waits till they get into their 50s before they've finished paying off all their debt that they've accumulated in their lives. And that's only after six months. That's six months away. 12 months. You're on 100,000 Rand annually that you're creating for yourself. Anyone get a 100,000 Rand bonus this year from their employer? No one. Now and again, I have one person that sticks their hand up, but they only stick it up like so. Because <laughs> they're scared you're going to ask them for some money. Right? After 24 months, you're nearly 30,000 rand a month. 
24 months. Think about what you were doing 24 months ago. You are probably in exactly the same situation that you're in today. Right? That's why I say this business takes forward planning, not short-term expectation. You need to make decisions today that are going to affect you in two years, five years, even 20 years' time. But we don't do it. We live month to month, year to year. You keep going. 36 months, nearly 50,000 rand a month. Have you noticed that your income potentially goes up every month? Did everyone get their 10% raise this year? You didn't? If you didn't get 7 8%, your salary actually went backwards. Did you know that? Inflation is sitting at 7 8%. If your salary didn't go up by 7 or 8% every year for the last few years, your salary is actually devalued. Food inflation is sitting at 11% currently. That means it's doubling in price every eight years. Try to ask your boss for a raise every month. See what he says. Here's an example of a bond again. This is a five million rand bond, right? After 30 months, you're around 36, 37,000 rand. You put that money into your five million rand bond. You'll pay that bond off in less than seven years. Five million rand house is yours. Do it again. Do it again. 14 years. Now you've got 10 million rand worth of property assets. Do it a third time. Now you've got 15 million rand worth of property assets by the, within 21 years. But what do we do? We depend just on our employer, paying us just that one salary, trying to get by every month. We bought the house, trying to get the kids through school, trying to put food on the table, and we do nothing else. And we just depend on the employer. It's the employer's job to get me to where I want to be. And suddenly you're 50 years old and you've done nothing. All you've done is pay back the bank two and a half times the value of that property asset that you're now living in. People think this house is this wonderful investment. How can it be an investment if you have to live in it? You've paid it off. You're living in it, right? If you wanted to be an investment... You have to sell it and move into the caravan. <laughs> then you've realized the asset, the investment of the asset, right? Don't get into that rut, that cycle. Get out of the cycle. It requires a decision now to get out of the cycle. 48 months, probably around 70,000 rand a month. 60 months, you've created yourself a million rand annually of recurring income over and above your salary. The system's not designed to replace your day job. It's here to supplement your salary, right? Extra. Extra time required to earn extra. No way around that. 60 months away. Is five years too long to commit to something? If I say join this business and for the first year you, it's just going to be frustrating. People are going to tell you to go away. People are going to tell you you're part of a scheme. If I say that's going to happen for a whole year. You think you're going to quit or you think you're going to keep pushing on? That's what you all say. You're lying to me. <laughs> this is purely based on example of 3 plus 2, remember? Put 3 in in May and 2 every consecutive month. So it's purely based on example. You can join this business, which is the easiest thing in the world. Anyone can join this business. Take seven minutes, you join the business, you're a wealth engineer. But then you keep watching generations after work and you sit on the couch and on the week you like to watch soccer, go watch the kids doing their sports, visit family, attend funerals, right? Those people at least got out of this suffering. And your growth formula will be zero plus zero. And you can be a wealth engineer for five years with a growth formula of zero plus zero. And guess how much money you'll be earning after month 60? You'll be earning zero. 
But you can do more than 3 plus 2. The other side of the scale is you can do more than 3 plus 2, right? Remember, I've told you the accountability lies with you. You decide how much time you want to spend in this business. I'm not saying to you, you have to do 3 plus 2. So do more than 3 plus 2. Mavuma's doing more than 3 plus 2. That's when he joined. The day after my birthday. This is Brendan's birthday. So already at rank five, you'll see what ranks are all about. By February, nearly five and a half thousand rand a month he created for himself. He did it in half the time and he managed to create double the recurring income. That's what three plus two professes. In one month, he went up by a thousand rand in recurring income. This is recurring income, guys. You need to understand the value of recurring income. At 5,000 Rand, he's created for himself the equivalent of a million Rand asset. If you put a million Rand into an investment, it'll pay you out that much every month. Who's got a million Rand cash to put in the bank? He did it in two months. He created a million Rand cash investment for himself in two months. And he increased it by 1,000 Rand in 30 days. Your boss will laugh at you if you ask for a raise every month. And then he'll call security. <laughs> right? It's completely unrealistic. But that's the world we all live in, right? We all depend on our employer. We all blame the employer when things don't go our way. Can't blame the employer anymore. You've got to do it for yourself. The employer doesn't care. Everyone around you doesn't care. You have to care for yourself and put the work in yourself because no one else is going to do it. 16,000 Rand. That's a 3 million Rand cash investment that he's created for himself. Donnie has been with us since the day we launched this business. In comparison to Mavuma, Donnie's grown quite slowly but with amazing sustainability. Donnie's business is the, one of the most sustainable businesses that Dewpoint has. He got the award for Best Performance Award. It means every single person that comes into his business has committed to paying their product and being involved in the business. Amazing business. So he's grown a little more slowly, but he's still growing, right? We all complain we didn't get an 8% raise a year. Donnie's growing by that a month. Patrick and Pumi. They joined a week after Donnie. Last week, Tuesday, we paid our returns to our wealth engineers for the month of March. They got an 83,000 Rand payment made into their account from Dewpoint. Their flexi time business. That's what their flexi time business, the business that they do on the side, the business that they do part time, paid them. Think of the cash investment value that they created in the space of 12 months. Can you work it out? It's available to everybody in this room. Don't look at these people like they are divine or that they have some special talent. They don't. They're very normal individuals. The difference is, is that they've just committed more effort and more time than anyone else has. The platform is the same for everybody. It's the same for everybody. They don't get any special attention. We pay hundreds of wealth engineers every single month that have already started creating value in their channel distribution. And they are deriving an income out of the effort that they've put in. An income that they have some control over. Again, the accountability lies with you. The decision today is not, do I want to become a wealth engineer? It's, do I want to become a successful wealth engineer? That's the decision. So those are the returns that we pay our wealth engineers every month. 
We've got something extra on top of that. We've got an XP Rewards program. The, the XP Rewards program is over and above the returns. So we pay the returns to wealth engineers every month. But when you have success in our business, what we'll do is we'll give you rewards along the way. Okay? So when you start engaging in typical wealth engineer behavior, which is telling other people about Dewpoint, bringing them to intro presentations, watching the training, doing all of that stuff, we give you something called XP. XP. It has no monetary value. You can't go to checkers and say, I want to pay with XP. Okay? It doesn't mean anything. It just tells us how active you are as a wealth engineer. And when you start collecting more XP and you start having success in the business by building your channel of distribution, we will reward you. So our guests here this morning, if you become wealth engineers this morning, you will have the grand title of rank zero. Right? But very quickly, you can get to rank one. Very quickly. Within 24 hours, I reckon. I reckon you can even do it in less. If you really want to do it, you can probably do it in six or seven hours. You can get to rank one. You need 1,000 XP and you need four products in your qualified channel. When you meet those two criteria, you become rank one. And on top of the return we're paying you at the end of the month, we'll give you a reward of 55 rand. Right? Fairly small. Not much to get excited about, right? But it's there to help you get through the system. It's there to help you get through the learning curve because we use this to incentivize you because we know next you're going to aim for rank two. And you're going to think, well, how do I get to rank two? I need 2,000 XP. I need 20 qualified in my, in my channel. How do I do that? It's there to motivate you, to incentivize you. The same thing at work when they say you need to make so many calls, we'll give you a bonus at the end of the month. It's not very different. But the rewards get bigger. 100 rand, 400 rand, 1500 rand, 20,000 rand, 50,000 rand. That's where Patrick and Pumi are. They got a 50,000 rand reward on top of their earnings last week, Tuesday. We started rank one. We give tools to our wealth engineers that help them be more effective in building their channels of distribution. So there's a little lightning memory stick. It's changed. We've got a smaller one now. Same size, same speed. But more importantly, on these little memory sticks, we put all our video collateral on there. So our intro presentations, our training, our interviews, our testimonials from the wealth engineers, it's all tools that help you build your channels more effectively because that little device plugs into everything. It can plug into a cell phone, Android, Apple, banana, tablets, <laughs> laptops, computers. It plugs into anything. So Patrick and Pumi can show the business to anyone. It doesn't matter where they are, what time of the day it is. Donnie with his rank 7 business cards. So at rank 7, we manufacture these premium luxury business cards for our wealth engineers. They cost us 12,500 rand a set. They are gilded in gold. The logo is foiled in gold. There's no printing done on these cards. It's on a very expensive paper that feels like black suede. Why would we go to such lengths for business cards? Because no one's heard of Dewpoint. If you go up to someone and say, I've got this great financial opportunity, amazing business, it's called Dewpoint. They're going to be, okay, so you put a business card in their hands. That's 20 times more valuable than the card they get at their work. They will suddenly give you a little more time to explain. Suddenly your credibility has gone up with them, right? It's all about appearance. First impressions, okay? Tools to make you more effective. At rank nine, we take you and your family on an all-expenses-paid international conference for seven days away at a five-star luxury resort. Business class flights every single year. This is not a once-off reward. All those other ones are once-offs. When you get to rank nine, you get to enjoy this reward every single year with your family. Think about that. Every single year, every 12 months, you're going on a business class trip internationally with your family. You don't have to have a family meeting to look at your bank balance to decide whether you're going to Umschlange or to the Valdem. <laughs> What's the difference? There's both sand and water. What else do you want? That's what I say to my wife. So, well, I want to go to Mauritius. I say, why do you want to go to Mauritius? Umschlange is exactly the same as Mauritius. At least we know the food we're getting there and we know the language the people are speaking. But let me show you what Mauritius looks like. This is where we're going at the end of this year. This is available for every single person in the room. Every person in the room. 
Don't make up excuses in your head about why you can't get to this position. It is equally available to every single person in the room. Have a look. This is the actual resort. Five-star tier one beachcomber resort in Mauritius. So that's a choice you need to make today. These are just rewards. This is just some fun that we have on the way to true financial freedom. The returns are way more important than the rewards. When you get to rank 9, you're going to be earning about 30,000 rand a month. Around about that. That's way more important than going on the holiday every year, right? Don't forget that. But let's have some fun along the way. Let's get a taste of what financial freedom actually feels like. If not for you, for your kids, right? That's what liberation is about. When you afford your kids these experiences, it opens up the world of potential to them. And that's really what life's all about. If you want to change, it starts with hope. Hmm? Rank 11. This is what Patrick and Pumi are now aiming for. A car that we buy for them. We buy the car cash and we give it to them. That's it. No you point stickers. No, you get to keep the car for six months or 12 months based on performance. The car's theirs. They are inches away. It's going to be an exciting day, isn't it? Yeah. Hey? This is only rank 11, guys. You saw the table go up to rank 20. Behind the scenes, we've already planned up to rank 28. We don't think short term here at Dewpoint. This is short term stuff. It is short term stuff. Rank 28 is long term. It starts with getting excited about the 55 rand rewarded rank 1. 
Can you get excited about rank one? You're lying to me again. You have to get excited about rank one. Got to start. It's always the first step. Always the first step. We've got additional benefit that we run every month for our wealth engineers. We call it a wealth quest. And this month's wealth quest, which is nearly over, but I would assume that some wealth engineers are gunning for this wealth quest because there's an iPad. There's a brand new iPad at the end of this. And the challenge that we've given our wealth engineers this month is if you can get three new wealth engineers onto your first point and help them get qualified, which means you're going to help each of those three get three wealth engineers themselves. If you can do that in the, the same month, in April, we'll give you a brand new iPad. Again, not for your kids to watch YouTube, as a tool for you to build your channel more effectively. Okay. Our, uh, this is a slide that just illustrates our business model, because some people say, Jesus, it seems like you're spending way too much money on everybody. Did your actuaries get the maths right? This explains our business model. So traditional business model, very similar to how PMD runs, primary and direct. We know all the advertising that they do. Um, any, most companies will engage in a lot of marketing and advertising, right, to grow every month. So they spend a fortune of money on typical marketing channels like radio and billboards and TV and whatever else. Like I said, Dewpoint doesn't do any advertising. You won't see our logo outside of this building because we rely on our wealth engineers. Remember, referral marketing, word of mouth. Very effective when your friend tells you about an opportunity rather than an ad on TV. And so we won't spend the billions that insurance companies spend on marketing and advertising. We take that portion of our premium and we pay it to our wealth engineers in the form of returns and rewards. And that is very basically how our business model works. Okay. You might be wondering what the products are. We know it's not vitamins or shakes. We know they don't run out. We've got three products. They all have different financial benefit for our wealth engineers. So you're free to take out one product or all three products. Up to you. What was that? 299 Rand a month for the Access Wealth product, which is an investment product. So for 299 a month, 100 Rand will be invested into a tax-free investment fund in your name. It's not a fixed or notice deposit. You can draw those investments out immediately. Okay? On top of the investment, we give you a little bit of insurance. We give you 110,000 Rand's worth of personal accident cover. So if you die, unfortunately, through any form of accident, we will pay you out 110, or at least your beneficiaries, out 110,000 Rand plus whatever's in your investment. Okay, so this is the investment product, Access Wealth. The second product is purely insurance. It's no investment here. It's only an insurance product. It is 274 a month, but this time you get 1.1 million Rand's worth of personal accident cover. Okay? The beauty of personal accident cover is that it's accessible to anyone over the age of 18. So you can be 90 years old and still take out this insurance. The premium stays the same. The cover, the benefit amount stays the same. Okay? So it's not ageist whatsoever. The third product is called Wealth Points. It's our, actually our Wealth Points Buyers Club. This product allows you to save money on the money you are spending every month anyway. So we've got a whole bunch of partners that you see in that list over there that we've gone to and negotiated discounts for them that we share with our Wealth Points Buyers Club members. So if you own this product for 274 Rand a month, you get to enjoy the discounts that we offer with all these partners. So a very popular one, for example, is ShopRite Checkers because we all spend a fortune on groceries every month. So at ShopRite Checkers, you get to enjoy a 2.5% discount on your full trolley at ShopRite Checkers all the time. Then we've got other ones, Eagle Ford. You want to buy a car at the best possible price? Eagle Ford will give it to our Wealth Points Buyers Club members. We've already sold two Fords in the last month. They're taking debt, so that's not the best thing. <laughs> but we're all free to our own decisions. Right? So we're always adding new partners to this list. If you want immediate benefit out of any of the products, this is a great product to have. Okay. So those are the three products. If you have any questions on the products, come speak to me. I think they're very straightforward products. I remind you of the support that you get here as a wealth engineer. Everything that we do here is to support you guys. We're in partnership together now. I want to see you successful. To be successful, 
our wealth engineers have to be successful. So everything, our facilities that we set up are for our wealth engineers. You can do your own presentation here. If you want to bring your entire church congregation into this room, you can do that and do your presentation in our, board, in our auditorium. You can use our meeting rooms. Use the meeting rooms. We've got free Wi-Fi. You can use all the free Wi-Fi you want. Free tea and coffee. You can drink all that free tea and coffee. We've got the breakout rooms. Brendan and I will give you time. We call them Teamworks meetings. Once you've built a sizable channel, we will sit down with that channel with you and strategize your success in this business. We'll give you that time. We live stream everything to the entire country so that you guys can go out and build in other towns and provinces because we have the technology to be in people's living rooms live every single day so that you can go build your businesses outside of where you stay. So lean into the support. Don't become a wealth engineer and you don't lean into any support. You don't come to the, you don't use the auditorium. You don't use the live stream. Don't do that. Get engaged. Lean into all of that support, right? It's going to be beneficial for your business. The decision slide. Do we remember what the decision was going to be? Have you decided what time you're going to sacrifice? Because you have to go home and tell your kids. Tell them. I know some of the wealth engineers. Their kids know very well what they're up to. I know Donnie's kids are even like, you haven't been to any Dewpoint meetings today. What's going on? We want to get to Mauritius. <laughs> right? Because that's what we're talking about. We're talking about your spare time. Are you willing to sacrifice your spare time to this? Or do you think your employer is going to get you to retirement like that? Or are you buying lotto tickets? What's it going to be? It's going to be something. You're in this room for a reason. You didn't come here for the coffee, I promise you. That's the decision, guys. Talking about a low-risk business opportunity. Life is risky. You need to take that step of trust into risk to change your situation. No one else is going to do it for you. Even the people that love you will be detractors of you changing your environment. You know that? You ever notice that when suddenly you're doing really well and everyone starts acting funny towards you? You've got to do it for yourself. Your employer's not going to do it. Lotto's not going to do it for you. Government's not going to do it for you. Your spouse is not going to do it for you. You've got to do it for yourself. You've got to make a decision today that's going to affect you in 20 years' time. It'll potentially affect generations to come. Your kids, your kids' kids. That's the effect that you can have on it, Right? On a very appropriate day, Freedom Day today, what does it mean to you? Is it something that you deserve? Unfortunately, the world is a broken world. You can think that you deserve all kinds of things. Unfortunately, no one really cares about you. You've got to care about yourself. You've got to make that change for yourself. Like I said, joining is very easy. Anyone can become a wealth engineer. Get onto our, our Wi-Fi. Get onto our homepage. Click on the big blue apply button. You're a wealth engineer in seven minutes. Seven minutes. What's the next goal once you join? Rank one. How are you going to get to rank one today? Phone a few people. Check out how you earn XP. Become rank one by tomorrow. All right? Got to have goals. We've got training this Saturday. So we've got all our training on our YouTube channel. You can go look at it. We've got a whole year's worth of training. But there's a basic series. For all the new wealth engineers, there's seven videos that you need to go watch. It's seven hours of your life invested into your business. Go watch those videos. We repeat some of those basic uh, dev seminars. And the one we're repeating is called Plugging into the Dewpoint System. So there's a couple of updates. So if you think you're a wealth engineer that's been here for long enough and you've seen this training seminar before, there's new material. So come again, right? So on Saturday morning at 9 o'clock, we're going to be running this dev seminar. It's there to help you get plugged into the Dewpoint system so that you know what you're doing, so that you can make the most out of what we've provided for you. Okay? So that's 9 o'clock, and then the intro presentation will be at 10 o'clock straight afterwards. Merchandise. Guys, please consider getting business cards because you can never go propose a business opportunity to someone and if they ask you for a business card, you say, oh, I don't have one. 
Remember, it's all about first impression. You've got to look good. You've got to feel good. You've got to speak good. You've got to have good business cards. If you want to be successful in this thing, that's just how it is. Okay? We've got pins. Those pins signify people that are earning at dew point. I think they're only 40 rand. Get one of those pins. It means you're effective. You're making it work. You're not one of the zero plus zeros. Okay? Power bank. Don't ask me for a cell phone charger when you come to the office. Get a power bank. And then we've got a couple of other merchandise items. The USB stick, very popular because we've got a lot of videos on there. So if you don't want to use data, or you don't want the people that you're speaking to to use data, give them a USB stick. It's got all our intro presentations on there. Drop it off for them. Plugs into everything nowadays, even TVs. Okay, guys. I remind you, we've got your YouTube channel. Subscribe to the YouTube channel. It'll tell you whenever we put up new training or interviews or testimonies or when a new live stream is about to happen, it notifies you. We've got the mobile app that allows you to run your channel from the palm of your hand. Run your whole business from your cell phone. We make it as easy as convenient as possible. Guys, I thank you for your time. I'm done. Public holiday again on Monday. Doesn't mean we get to sit at home and enjoy the public holiday or we're going to go out and work. You've got opportunity. We've got two presentations on Monday. You've got opportunity between now and then to get as many people into this presentation as possible. And I will do the work for you. Right? Use it. Thanks for your time. Have a lovely rest of the day. Good weekend.